I don't want to have hat hair. <laughs> Dear parents, friends and family, faculty and staff, and fellow 2009 graduates, let me be honest. When I first sat down to write the speech, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what I wanted to say, how to say it, or even how to start. After a few days of procrastinating, I finally decided to suck it up, sit down on my computer, and just write. Turns out, writing a commencement speech is a little harder than I thought. It took me a few hours to realize my method, staring into a blank white Microsoft Word document, listening to the same 303 song on repeat, and refreshing Facebook every five minutes wasn't working. <laughs> so I looked for help with my closest, wisest, most trusted friend, the internet. <laughs> We've all looked online for help in something before, whether it be for relationship advice, diet tips, or homework help. I googled how to write a valedictorian speech. <laughs> I was surprised to say the least when 100,000 results came back. I poured over how-to articles, read several example speeches, and watched five different YouTube videos, all claiming to be the best valedictorian speech ever. <laughs> I didn't take any other advice. The speeches were good, especially the 2007 graduate who managed to relate his entire speech to Pokemon. <laughs> but they just weren't me. So I decided to go with a whole new approach. I grabbed a list of graduation topic speech ideas and started writing whatever relevant came to mind. I wrote several paragraphs about the value of hard work or the importance of failure in our lives, filled with quotes about carrying our past to our future and shooting for the stars. What I wound up with was a page and a half of stale cliches that have been said hundreds of thousands of times before. I decided not to use this version either. It was unmotivated and there was no heart in it. It wasn't anything that I wanted to say. It was full of words and advice from someone else. After tossing out my idea of a cliché speech, I decided to turn my idea 180 degrees. It would be the polar opposite of a cliché. It would be a beautiful and unique snowflake, full of my own words, never said before, and never able to be said again. It would be spontaneous, shocking, nothing anyone would ever expect from a straight-A student. But I didn't do this either. <laughs> The speech would have been unique, but only because it went against everything I and everyone else believed in. It would have sent the wrong message. It was shocking for the sake of so shocking. It wouldn't accomplish anything and it wasn't how I wanted to be remembered. Only after writing and scrapping so many speeches did I finally realize what I was doing wrong. I wasn't being myself. I wasn't saying what I wanted to say or how I wanted to say it. I was taking advice from strangers online. I was prepared to deliver speeches that actually contained 0% me. I discovered that the only way to write my speech was to stop listening to everyone else and write what I wanted to say. So class of 2009, my only piece of advice is be yourself. This is especially important tonight as we all go our separate ways. It can be easy to forget where you came from after you've gone. So remember where you came from and who you truly are. Stay true to your heart and always be yourself. Thank you.